Dr. Sam Robbins, today I want to discuss if soy can actually make you fat, depressed, cause cancer, and even kill your libido. And I want to discuss this because soy is one of the most consumed foods in the U.S. And it's a hidden protein source in so many products, especially health and vegetarian products. Now, soybeans are, are basically beans and thus legumes. And they originated from Asia and actually eaten in small quantities there, but as a whole bean. Unfortunately, 95% of soy eaten in the U.S. is made from soybean into food, such as, you know, tofu, uh, soybean oil, soy milk, and various soy proteins. Now, this is not the natural form of this food. It's basically been modified. In fact, well over 90% of the soy produced in the world is genetically modified, and the crops are sprayed with herbicide Roundup, which is associated with numerous adverse effects on your health. And because it's so cheap, you know, soybean meal is given to livestock, which is, again, not a natural food for them. And it's also found in so many processed foods, again, including health foods. So let's get right to it and why I suggest you avoid soy. First of all, soy is very high in omega-6 fats, which causes inflammation, insulin resistance, and weight gain. Thus, again, you should also never eat soybean oil, which is very high in omega-6. Also, soy is very high in phytates. It's a substance that binds to minerals and reduces their absorption. So the foods you eat don't get digested as well. Also, a big problem is that soy contains large amounts of biological active compounds called isoflavones, which function as phytoestrogens. Now, that is basically a plant-based compound that can activate estrogen receptors in the human body. Now, these isoflavones are classified as endocrine disruptors, basically chemicals that interfere with the normal functions of hormones in your body. So, what does this mean for you? First of all, it's bad for women. Uh, they, you know, they increase in estrogen from the soy isoflavones can cause breast cancer. And there's lots of clinical studies backing this up. For example, in one study, after only 14 days of eating soy protein, there was significant increase in the proliferation, that's the increase in number of the epithelial cells in the breast, which are the cells that are most likely to turn cancerous. And in another study, there was a 29% increase in the number of breast epithelial cells when they consume the soy protein. And there's lots of also human studies where soy caused disruption in menstrual cycles, leading to delayed menses or also prolonged menstruation. Now, soy is also bad for men. All right. Exposure to soy isoflavones in the womb can actually lead to adverse effects on sexual development in males. Basically, they have small penises. And in one human study, 99 uh, men attending an infertility clinic were studied. Now, the men who had eaten the most soy for the past three months had the lowest sperm count. Soy and the increase in estrogen also causes a reduction in testosterone, leading to obviously lower muscle mass, increased belly fat, and of course, lower libido and even impotence. Soy is also bad for your thyroid. Soy can inhibit the function of the enzyme thyroid peroxidase, which is essential for production of thyroid hormones. Now, the slowing of your thyroid seems to be a consistent problem with soy intake and thus causing you to have a slower metabolism, which makes you gain fat. Also, lower thyroid production causes hair loss and a decrease in protein synthesis, again, leading to muscle loss. And finally, there are mental health issues because soy consumption has long been associated with, you know, ADHD, depression, anxiety, dementia, and other mental health issues. And in fact, the newest research shows that it can also aggravate seizures as well. Now, the bottom line is that if you want to have some whole soybeans once in a while that are non-GMO, go ahead. All right. But my suggestion is you stay away from all soy, including especially soybean oil, and all soy proteins, which are found in, you know, again, almost all vegetable protein products and, you know, a lot of health products. It's a cheap ingredient that's bad for your hormones, health, fitness, and longevity. However, the good news is that once you stop eating soy, a lot of these negative effects will naturally reverse themselves over the next two, three, four, five, six months. But it does take a little bit of time. And if you are dealing with, you know, any of these problems, such as anxiety or depression or, you know, weight gain and slowing down of your metabolism or lower energy or lower testosterone levels, I've got links below in the description area for additional information about how you can fix these health issues. Well, 
That's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below and do yourself a favor and visit the description area below. Scroll down, click the links about the health topics that you want to fix in your life. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.